what's up guys welcome back to some more pga tour 2k23 today we're going to check out the clubhouse pass season two and we're going to do a round at wolf creek i thought that would be a fun video to do today um as my editor is away today and my tgc tours videos and the match play uh that i did for the trinity tours those will be going up tomorrow now so uh really appreciate the support keep dropping likes if you're enjoying the content i got a lot of good stuff coming up yesterday the match play with hemo went up so if you're uh looking to kind of see a, a new guest on that then check out yesterday's video it was a really fun one me and Hemo had some great discussions and we had a good match as well so go watch that and uh, let me know what you think it's performing um like okay so far but I'd like to get it out there to more people and uh and for it to to bump up the views a little bit so let's jump in and let's check out the clubhouse past season two before we jump into a round at wolf creek because this release yesterday didn't get a chance to check it out yet i just bought it now um, and i unlocked the callaway great big bertha driver and i haven't unlocked anything else yet i decided i'm gonna i'm gonna work for it rather than just buy all the tiers so we oh, will unlock that shirt that's kind of nice that would go well with the outfit that i'm wearing currently um no doubt tier three just a black a black cap that's pretty slick as well. That could go with the outfit that I'm wearing right now as well. And so could these shoes, actually. It, these these first few items are all kind of um, leaning towards my the outfit that I'm currently wearing. You got a an orange Callaway ball for tier five. We got some Callaway Jaws raw face chrome wedges and an uncommon fitting as well at tier six. And um, we got the Under Armour woman's glove, the men's glove, of course. And this shirt I actually quite like a lot, actually. This one's looking slick. The Under Armour's men's short sleeve. That's nice, man. I'd wear that 100%. We got a pink ball. We got an XP boost. We got the black version of those uh, chrome wedges. Uh, ooh, nice women's Under Armour outerwear. And... Oh, I'd wear that in real life. That one's slick, boys. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that one. The orange, Ricky Fowler should be wearing this in the game. Not sp sponsored by Under Armour, but still, the, it's his color at least. We got a visor, not much of a visor guy. We got the great big Bertha Woods. We got another. That looks the exact same color as the other one. That's meant to be red. That looks literally the exact same color as the other one. That looks orange to me, but okay. Oh my God, she's got some pajunga. No, I didn't shouldn't say that. But um. It was just the way she was puffing out her chest, you know? All right. That looks good. It's actually a hoodie as well. Okay. That's slick. What's up with the zip down the bottom of it, though? It looks, looks all dis distorted and weird. Uh, anyway, all good. The Under Armour women's shoes. And we have the men's shoes here, of course. Those are nice. Some good stuff so far. The Callaway Rogue Max LS Maroon Driver. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Under Armour women's... Under Armour Men's. Yeah, I don't... I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about that one. But I, I did need some new outfits, so I'm glad that there's some new stuff coming in here. We got the Under Armour Glove, another XP boost. I hate that ball with a passion. Um, that's a nice cap, though. That's a nice cap, actually. Real slick. We got more shoes. Okay, those are really nice, actually. I like those ones a lot. Ooh, she got a booty, too. Wait, what, what, what are we saying? What are we saying? We're talking about... Talking about outerwear? Yeah, see the zip at the bottom of this outfit's all distorted. I don't know why. Like, it would look so much better if it was just down in a straight line. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or what. Like, it's crumpled at the bottom. I don't know. Great Big Bertha. We got Under Armour Women's Sleeveless Polo. Ooh! Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that one a lot, actually. I'm going to wear that one when I unlock this for sure. Look at my hair flowing in the wind as well, boys. We got the blue one cares about any of that stuff there we got a yellow beanie that's awful atrocious never um those are okay green version of these wedges don't care about any of this stuff that's nice that's real nice some of this under armor gear is really nice actually i like the under armor gear a lot i like that too i like that too not so much the beanies not a beanie guy i'll wear a hat if it's cold but oh those irons are nice great big bertha irons oh i want them I want them. That's kind of nice, too. A little bit weird with the black in the middle, but... Okay. Got a nice-looking blue cap. That could go with some outfits. Blue and pink there. Oh. Ooh. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about that one. It's not bad. We're getting close to the end here. Red line. We got the driver. The green version of it, at least. We got these shoes. Those are okay. Your 49 is an aviator pack, really? And this is the final tier. Um, 
that looks like something a, a male runway model would wear or something. I'm not, I'm not sure on that one. But a lot of good gear in there, and I'm excited about it. But let's go and do a round at Wolf Creek. And we'll probably do it with Ricky Fowler, maybe, or one of the pros, anyway. We'll choose as, as we go in. All right, so Alan Greenspun is the designer. He's designed countless great courses. My club fittings are full. I need to, I need to sort that ASAP. But uh, we'll play as... Uh, I think I'm going to play as Ricky. I'm feeling like playing as Ricky Fowler. Or maybe JT. I haven't played as JT in a while. JT's uh, competing in the um, in the Sony Open. We'll play as JT. All right, we'll, we'll play as Justin Thomas at Wolf Creek Golf Club. Let's do this thing. We'll play off the back tees, of course. And we'll do pin set number one. All right, let's pump one down the middle. This is a very real chance for an eagle because of the elevation changes on this hole. And I've pumped one down there. That should be absolutely sublime. Gorgeous tee shot from Justin Thomas off the first hole. Let's see if we can go ultra low at Wolf Creek. We know this is a very difficult golf course. There's no doubt about that. This was in the Rory McIlroy game, of course. Um, it's, a, it's a quite simply lovely Sweet. course. And uh, into I'm looking an forward to playing it right now. Hmm, is that enough? No, JT, that could be enough though. That should be too much is the problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put touch aloft and fade on this, and I'm gonna put it absolutely on the pin there. The Hit right the up slope, kill it completely. Oh, what a shot, yes. I'm back down a little bit now. No way you stay up there. Nicely How does it stay up there? The JT's happy enough with it, but I'm not. That should've came back down a little bit at least, because now it's left us this absolutely horrid putt. Horrible putt. Now we have to go searching for a way to, to stop this, to be honest. Um, I can stop oh, it with the cop. I can stop it with the cop and stop, please. Oh, ho, 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 I thought it was going to go off. It's a tap-in birdie on the first. It would have been lovely to get that eagle there. We'll have to accept a tap-in birdie on the first. Wolf Creek and uh, AG is a master of recreating these great courses from previous, um, from previous games. Now, this one is potentially reachable. Uh, it's not easy to do, but if you can potentially get it on the path there, you can get it on the green. I've done it before. Nice I've, I've done it before a few times. That might be carrying all the way there. Holy shit, that's carrying all the way there. Oh my god, what a shot. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. I forgot how far downhill that one was. Yeah, I think I have done that in the previous in the in the Rory games as well, where you kind of drive it onto the onto the heart of the green. All right, let's chip it in for an eagle. I'll take a tap in birdie, but I'd love a chip in eagle. I'd love it. Oh, too much power! Just had too much power. That's no tap in either. Let me tell you that much. That is no tap in. We've got it. Good putt. Good putt back. Birdie, birdie start. Justin Thomas and his caddy celebrate together there. Two under through two for JT. Lovely stuff indeed. Well done, Justin. Well done, my son. Gorgeous shot. All right, 214 yards. Is that going to be enough? Probably not with the elevation change, but that's obviously way too much. So I'm going to put a decent amount of loft on this bad boy and hopefully carry it all the way there. Oh, it's short. I figured it might be, unfortunately. Kick! I figured it might be short, but honestly, I, I needed to partial the three wood. That's coming off. Oh, I thought it would stay on. Bastard. All right. We're going to struggle to, to make a par here. We're really going to struggle. This is a tough par three, though. I remember having many a high number on this one because sometimes, like, I didn't even know what club to hit to get it up there. That's way too hard, you moron. What am I doing? What am I doing? We could have a PBFU here. We do not want a PBFU. Bang! Just about holds on. And two threes in a row to stay at two under through three. Woo! Close. Close. Stay right there at two under. Two clutch putts in a row. Now the problem here is do I just absolutely send it up there and get it in the bunker? Or do I, uh, do I, I think I'm going to, well, I, I didn't either. This I was going to say, I think I'm going to take my medicine. That's fine. so lucky. That's so the lucky, dude. That's genuinely, unbelievably lucky. All right, I need to put a decent amount of loft on this now and hope, God, that this maybe comes back a little bit. Yeah, That's something just was a truly on one of the worst swing, pit think. shots I've ever hit, tempo-wise at least. Third shot. God, that was ass cheeks. 
And that's a good... It's not great either, man. We're struggling now. Twitter from here. A short game. The chipping on, on Wolves Creek is not easy because they just keep running. They just keep rolling, rolling, rolling what, you know? And now one. I finally missed one. No, I haven't. It holds okay. on. I thought on for one. sure that wasn't getting there. And we keep the bogeys off the card. If you can go bogey free on this course, like that's absolute, absolutely insane. Under two under par. Jesus, okay. All right. Ready to go here on the fifth hole. That's oh, so bad, man. Fucking... Come on, I've lost my tempo. Oh my god, that's gonna be on top of here. Okay, it's not the we end of the world. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. It's not. Well, it's still very now. reachable, actually. Why is this a par five? <laughs> the par five, for goodness sake. How is that still that fast? Like, I'm boggled by that. Like it might be trouble. I'm boggled by that, okay, that I've hit it that fast four times in a row now. A nice up and down the fuck's and going on there, down. JT? Go in. Go in. Oh, what a shot. All right, tap in. No. See what well I mean? Done, These roll out point. way more than you think. They just keep going. You think it's about to stop and it doesn't. Cracking. And... Just about hold on again. God, we're getting lucky with these pots, and that's a birdie. That's a birdie. Come on. Big birdie there. I need to stop hitting it so bloody uh, softly here. All right, let's have a nice tee shot. I'm going to go for an overpower. Watch this. Oh, what a shot. It was 106%, I just realized. Yes, sir. Stay in the light. No, heavy. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's not six. the end of the world, as I said. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a masterful golf shot here. All right, you will probably not see a shot as good as this for a very long time. Was not expecting that to be yeah, that good. <laughs> I was not way. expecting the the contact to be that good. It was shot. a seventy percent lie. I should have came one club back. I was trying to use the slope at the back here for it to come way back. This is going to keep running now. Watch. You think it's going to stop by the pin? It just keep, runs like eight foot by every time. Nice to save par on this one. But I'll take a par this save there going. any day of the week. All right. We can get out All of right. here with par. Three under through six. We're averaging a birdie every two holes. And that's solid. All right, that's, that's solid on Wolf Creek. Right. It really is. And this hole is so much fun. This is where your round can go horribly wrong. Or very, very right. And we're about to find out which mine is. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh baby. It, Catch this hill at the top too. of the green and come back towards the pin. Go up that hill and come back down. Oh, baby. I was hoping it would come back a little bit more to the left. That's just going to come straight off the green. Well, wow. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Okay, Stay in the light, Ruffalese, and it's going to be a, an easy up and down, you'd hope. You would hope. Of course, the one time I wanted to roll out, it doesn't really roll out that much, Ooh, but it's pretty here. much a tap in birdie. And we're four under through seven. I love Wolf Creek as well because there's so many like um, holes where it's like risk reward. Like there, you can you can make yourself an eagle chance, but you can also go in the water and walk off there with a double bogey very easily. And there's a lot of holes like that as well, which I really appreciate um, a lot. Now this stuff, I don't think that's enough. But obviously this is too much. I need to partial this bad boy. What about a three wood punch? Is that crazy? I'm so tempted to try that and even land it on the car path. And watch this. That's bad. I'm, I bottled it, dude. If that kicks hard left, you never know. But I, I was going for that, kind of get it to. If it wasn't slow, it would have been pretty well, decent. Certainly, that's a missed green. I should have just gone straight out with a partial, but I was worried about it for some reason. Again, just too much juice, man. That's okay. But the chips with JT I'm holding on to a little bit too long. All right, par. There it is. Two threes in a row again. And let's close out the front nine. Five under, all right? We've been kind of battling between a birdie. We got a headwind on this one. Par, birdie, par, birdie, par. But if we could break the streak here with um, going five under for nine holes, that would be awesome. Okay, hole number nine. Shot All right, let's see if we can put one close because we cannot leave it short. That's for damn sure. Make sure not to leave it short. And that one could potentially be short. I don't think it would be. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna loft this bad boy instead because I don't want to risk it. Yep, 
Good call. Oh, coming in. Good by call. On the green. 77 wouldn't have made it up. No doubt it wouldn't. It wouldn't have made it up. Not a chance. But it came straight well back down the hill. Done. Good call to go to the 89. And I didn't even put that much loft on it either. So good call there. Five under through nine holes. Clean scorecard. Five birdies. Four pars. Back nine. Here we go with JT. Let's get it, baby. Come on. Five under. JT! Okay, teeing up now on the tenth hole. This course is bringing back memories, man. I don't think I've played this on 2K23 or 2K21. Maybe I played it on 2K21 once, but I haven't played that this much. I haven't played this course that much since the Rory days. I, you, I, like I used that. to play this course all the time on, the, on Rory McIlroy PJ Tour. Forty yards out. A really fun one to do. How is that that fast then? I don't believe it. All oh, right. Tempo's uh, lost me a little bit sure there, but. That's okay. okay. I'm gonna put a decent amount of spin on Setting this. Pretty much nearly now. max, oh, I'd say. And we're gonna. Wow, that just. Look at that, though. Like max spin. What the fuck are you talking about? Max spin, my <laughs> ass. That land. Oh. Down the hill. I didn't even realize it was like that far downhill. Please, please. Oh. How am I gonna walk off here with a bogey? Five For God's feet, sake, man. Go. First nice bogey of the round there, comes on the bogey. tenth hole. God damn it, we were going so cleanly. Right, it was going so that, clean. Going up to four under. Back and bollocks right, that let's is. See what happens on hole number eleven. All right, watch this. I don't get how that's that fast though. Like what is going on with the tempo? The All of a sudden, I've been playing on PC. PC is so much wild. easier. I'm genuinely serious. PC tempo is like way easier than than console. Here we go. Par -par. Short game on this course is tough, though. But Jesus, I'm making it look more difficult than it is, I think. That's not going to get there, I don't think. It's oh. an unbelievable effort, actually. It was too far. This one's what an effort. And that's back-to-back -back bogeys to start the back nine, boys. Just the opposite of what we wanted starting the back nine there. And after that one, you're three under. My tempo evaded me big Teen style, and now, now we have a tough par five here. Really tough par five, but with a drive like that, we might oh, be okay. We might be a okay. We need this to kick a little bit right, though. Don't kick left. Yes. Perfect. Perfect drive. Perfect drive. 380 odd yards down there. I think this might be reachable. Yeah. Yeah. With JT's distance, this is still reachable. Why is that going so far right? Well, might not like the results. Here. What? Oh my god, we're safe. We're safe. I don't know why that was going so far right. I hit it fast. Did I push it with the I must have pushed it with the goddamn swing plane or something. I'm a moron. And nicely done. The one back thing you could not way. afford to do. And this one's your fourth. You've got this left to save your par. Looking pretty good. All right, at least we saved the par, but Jesus stop. Christ, I should have easily had like a, a birdie there. And that'll leave Especially you after right that tee shot, that's so depressing. All right, this one's very reachable though. You can get this close. And a little bit of- uh, one. I'll be the one. Shaping here, a little fade on the shot. Get the kick, get the kick. That I know you would love to. Oh, I hit the cart path though. Oh, imagine I hit the pin there. <laughs> imagine We're just smacked the pin and went in there off that. That would have been the craziest rough. goddamn hole in one of all time. All right, this is going to be nigh on impossible to stop here. Like, go in. Needs to go in. Needs to go in. Ah! That's going to be a par again now. Because there's no fucking stopping it. Okay, third shot. A problem at Wolf Creek, man. Go, 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 come on! Dang it! Hey, I'm liking that one. Nice son of a beach, yeah. man! So son of a bitch! Three under for the day. All right, this and is a tough par four. Number 14. Real That's... tough. This used to be my least favorite hole on the course because it's just so hard to judge. Is there like that? Oh, we got lucky there. Like there's that we piece in the middle that's like yards very point. annoying. But we put ourselves in a really good position here, and what we're gonna do. What I'm gonna do, 
put this close, baby. A little punch shot? How about it? A little punch shot? How about it? How about it, Johnny? How about it? What a shot. What a shot! Come on, we need a birdie on the back nine. First birdie of the bloody back nine here. Or am I gonna continue to be a pussy? I'm gonna continue oh to be a bitch! Goodness. All right, three feet to the cup. And God damn it, dude. What am I doing? I'm too over for the back nine. Let's see how close we can get this one uh, to the pin. Come on, I need to get at least level par for the back nine. Come on, man. Don't do this, man. All right, watch this. I don't think you boys are ready for this party. That's ass. Hopefully this will bounce to the left. And Haven't I given enough? Your second given here enough. on the 15th. Haven't I given enough? Get in there. Get in there, JT. Mm. Oh, nice Good efforts. There. Top in par. You are three, three holes left. Time. That's depressing. That swing was to die this for. This is an ultra depressing back nine here. I swear, this, didn't this hole used to be drivable when the wind is a certain way? Like you could overpower it and you could drive this hole, nice I feel like. view from this elevated position. Oh, watch this. Ready? Oh, what a shot. He might have uh, chosen um, a bit too much club. You think? Well, you can't hit them all. A bit too much club. This one I didn't even third. actually think about the downhill. That's how brain dead I am here on the back nine. Like, what am I actually up to? I'd love to know what I'm up to, but I haven't got a Scooby-Doo, to be honest. Good flop shot. A good flop shot. Go up and come back down now. Not that way. Not that way! Good luck here. This is for par. Son of a beach, man. These greens are just ridiculous, though. <laughs> Looking really good. Yes! What, an what a par that is. Five pars in a row to follow up the two bogeys, though. We have a... Come on, we got a, we got a par five, and then we have a reachable par four. I, I don't know if it's reachable on 2K23, but it was in the... Um, really nice. In the Rory McIlroy days. With a bomb. That's a beautiful drive. I don't know if this is reachable with the wind. Because I used to remember it was like... It was on the edge in Rory McIlroy, this one. Whether it was reachable or not. And this is a round. Oh, it's way, yeah, it's more than range today. Mark. Beauty. Come on, be the one. It's too Come far. On, Man, I knew I was, I was making a mistake going a club up there. I knew it. I had the right club in my hand and I bottled it. That would have been all over the pin, man. You are I was like, I don't know. Team. It's kind of into the wind and uphill. Yes, yes but the, they run out, man. They run out. Looking That's super. a beautiful putt, though. It's a beautiful putt. If I hit it! Ah! Tap in birdie, boy, four right. under. Come you on, let's birdie last at least and have a level par back nine and we'll five four under round. Been disappointing. Yeah, it is reachable. It is reachable. There was more of a cliff on the left hand side, I believe, in the real one, for sure. It was more of a cliff on the left hand side, but. Well, the basic premise of the course is very similar. Can't believe I bottled the last hole here. Well, this one's looking good. Some kick. It's some kick. It's some kick. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. What a shot. Look at you driving this. What a shot. What an accidentally great shot. And this is for a bird with big wings. Finish with an eagle, eagle boys. Coming up. Let's finish with a little eagle yeah, on Wolf Creek. No, I can't hold shit today. I can't hold shit today. It's going to be another birdie. JT, you absolutely and suck. Now, it was a solid round. I just, um... Just the back nine, everything went cold for me. Was not playing well on the back nine. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless and enjoyed the look at the at the season two battle pass. Battle pass, a clubhouse pass, I guess. <laughs> battle pass, what is this, Fortnite? For goodness sake. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this where I just play random courses with a pro, then you know what to do. Drop a like. I've done this with Tiger for the Predator and for the Highlands and stuff like that. So uh, if you want to see it, um, let me know. We're going to be doing um, Andromeda Base as the fantasy course of the week, I think, starting Monday and the week after that i think i have one wallaby creek as well but if you have any suggestions for fantasy course of the week or for random videos like this let me know and i'll make sure to keep bringing them thanks for watching see you next time peace out